All right, so now let's look at uh, problem number 15. Uh, for number 15, so here we have uh, uh, four numbers, x, y, z, w, and what we know is the difference of x, y, so it's x minus y, and then y minus z, and z minus w. So this three numbers average, it's, it's every 10, and also w is five. We need to figure out this, what is x. All right, okay, so here uh, it requires is just a little algebra. So because the average is 10, what does that mean? That means x minus y plus y minus z and plus z minus w, right? So this one divided by three, this is 10, right? Okay, so then implies the x minus y plus y minus z plus z minus w, this is 30. Now, yeah, the point is, if you look at it here, uh, let's, uh, because uh, this is uh, addition, addition, so we can uh, just get rid of those uh, brackets without change. Uh, anything, right? So we get, okay, so from here we get x minus y plus y minus z and plus z minus w and this is 30, right? This is 30. Okay, so now we can do the cancellation because this is minus y plus y, so they cancel with each other. And then we also have this minus z plus z, they also cancel with each other. So we end up with, so we end up with the x minus w equals 30, right? So this is based on the information, the average is 10 and we do cancellation and then we get is the difference in x times 30, all right. Then, you, then we also have w is five, right? W is five, this is given right here. So this implies, all those together implies the x is 35, okay. All right. All right, so problem number 16. So here we have an incredibly large number, seven to the power uh, to uh, point 20. So this one by definition is just seven times seven times seven and da, 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 all the way seven. And here we have uh, 2020 uh, sevens multiplied together, which is incredibly large. There we can, uh, there's no way we can write it out. Now here, uh, what we're looking for is the 10th digit, right? The 10th digit. Now for this kind of problem, uh, for this kind of problems, um, a usual approach is uh, we try to find a pattern, right? Try to find a pattern. Okay, so we need to find the pattern. Okay, so we start from it's a seven. The second one is seven squared, which is seven times seven, and then seven cubed, which is seven times seven times seven, and seven to the power of four, which is seven times seven times seven times seven and seven to the five, right? Okay, so seven times seven times seven times seven times seven, such and such. Now, uh, let's see. So uh, we just look at the last two digits. Okay. So seven is just zero seven, right? Because the uh, 10 is zero. And this guy is 49. Now you multiply uh, one seven, you get this is um, three, uh, 43, right? So it's the last two digits. I'm only uh, looking for the last two uh, digits, 43. And the next one will be uh, 0, 0, 1. And then the uh, you multiply by seven, right? Multiply by seven, multiply by seven, multiply by seven, multiply by seven. And then this will become 0, 7. All right, so you see, okay, it's going to repeat itself. 0, 7 to here, and 0, 7 to there, right? Okay, so it's a four cycle. So it's four cycle. Okay. All right, now, Zero, zero, zero. This one is, is divisible by four. It's divisible by four. So seven to the two zero zero, the last two digits, the last two digits of uh, two, seven to the two zero zero is zero one. It's right here, zero one. Zero one. All right, so the tenth digit is zero. So this is what we're looking for. This is zero. All right. Okay, so problem 17. 17 says um, uh, we have two chains. They, um, uh, they run toward each other, right? And they, uh, they leave their stations at the same time uh, with different speeds. One is 70 miles per hour. The other one is 80 miles per hour. Okay, so the total distance is 300 miles. So let me draw the picture. So here, all the way right here. So this is the chain one. Okay, so let's say this is the chain one goes to this direction. And we have chain two, 
it wants toward this direction, the opposite one. All right, so total is 300 miles. 300 miles, okay. Now, for each hour, so this one is 70 miles per hour, and this one is 80 miles per hour. So that means for each hour, this one, so one hour, in one hour, this one goes 70 miles, and this one travels, right, 80 miles, 80 miles, right, 80 miles. Okay, so that means that the distance is reduced by, um, by but after one hour, the distance is reduced by uh, 150. So what's left is 150 miles after uh, one hour. All right, so there you see, but if you go uh, one more hour, another 70 miles, this is 80 miles, right? Okay, so now uh, it will just fill the gap. They will just meet, right? So it's, uh, this is the second hour. This is the second hour. All right, so the conclusion is it takes, it takes uh, two hours for, for them to meet. So we get, so it takes two hours for these two train to meet. All right, so they start at 7 a.m. So that means it goes from start from 7 a.m. And after two hours, it's 9 a.m. So they meet at 9 a.m. on their way. All right. All right, so now let's look at problem 18. So problem 18 is a problem about uh, um, percentage. So we start from a rectangle A, B, C, D. So this A, B, C, D. So A, B is 10 and this one is 20. Now A, B is increased by uh, 10, uh, 20%. So this one's increased by 20%. And uh, the length and uh, uh, this uh, 20, so this is uh, decreased by uh, 20%. All right, so then we see uh, 10, what is 20% of uh, 10? So this is just 10 times, um, uh, this is 105, right? So it's two. Uh, what is the 20% uh, of uh, 20? So 20% is just 105, right? So it's one. So, okay, so this is four. So we get uh, the new uh, rectangle, what we have. One is increased by two, and the other one is uh, decreased by, uh, by uh, six, right? A, B, C, D. So this one becomes, uh, this is add two, and this is uh, uh, minus four, right? Okay, so this we have 12 and this becomes um, uh, 16, right? So this becomes 16. Okay, so now let's look at the area. So this, the area equals 200. And here the area is uh, 16 times uh, 12. That's uh, 192, right? 192. So the area changed from 200 reduced to uh, 192. So that's a minus eight, right? Minus eight. So the, uh, so the fraction is eight over 200. So that's uh, how it changes, but it's minus because it, it, it decreases. So this one, let me change this, it's just negative four over 100, but negative four over 100, this is negative 4%, right? Negative 4%. So reduce, uh, it's reduced by uh, 4%, right? Reduced by 4%, okay. All right. All right, so here, just 20% is just one over five. Okay, now let's look at uh, number uh, 19. So number 19 is we start from a um, uh, two dimensional picture. So this is the one on the, on the um, uh, left hand side. Now we need some um, spatial imagination. We can fold this one into a cube and how it looks like, right? Okay, so first of all, what you see, when you fold this one, so these two things, they should be opposite. So these two, they are opposite face, right? When you fold, you, see, you think of that, when you fold that, these two should be opposite. So maybe I, let's, I use uh, red color to represent this are opposite. And then you also, we have these two are also opposite, right? When you fold it, they're opposite. And then we have uh, these two, they are also uh, opposite. Okay, so that, that's what we have, all right? So, it, so if I try to uh, draw the picture, so let me draw what do we have. If I put 
if I put uh, th this uh, uh, this one right here, so then what you are, what we have is this and that. So that's what we have. Okay, so we have uh, the other one is right here. So it's it's the uh, it's the opposite, and uh, that's the white. Okay, all right. Now, uh, if we uh, uh, have this, and uh, if you compare uh, the pictures on the uh, on the right hand side, on the right hand side, uh, we know. Okay, so this one is fine. This one is okay because if, if you flip that, that's what you have. If you flip that, that's what you have. Now, this one is not okay because um, uh, these two things they should be opposite, but here's not opposite, and uh, this is also not okay. This is also uh, not okay, right? So then, uh, the one that matches is uh, is this one. So here, my point is, when you look at this, as I said, you start from that and you get, okay, which one is the opposite, opposite face of which, right? So that's why I have, uh, if you look at the, um, uh, if I look at, if you look at the lab picture, the, uh, the one with the red, to red, they are opposite, uh, to yellow, they are also opposite, and to, uh, to uh, green, they are also opposite. Now, you, keep, you have those in your mind, then you should be able to figure out uh, which one is the uh, the better? Okay. All right. Now let's have problem number twenty. So problem number twenty. So here we have right triangle ABC, and uh, uh, at uh, uh, four three vertices ABC, we draw a circle with radius one. All right. So then we basically get uh, three um, sectors. Okay. So now uh, we need to figure out the area of the uh, the red one, but the red one itself is uh, irregular shape. We cannot uh, do it directly. So we're going to cut and paste. And so we say, okay, so we use cut and paste. Cut and paste. So what do we have is the red one. The red one equals uh, this um, right triangle, A, B, C, two and minus those three sectors, right? So minus those three sectors. Okay, so let's see. This one is 45 degree. This one is 45 degree. Okay, so I'm trying to, uh, uh, 45 degree. So if I try to put each sector into the full circle, then let's see it. So this one is one fourth, right? So this one is one quarter. So one fourth of eight. So let me put this here. So this is, one quarter. And this one is 45 degree is one half of 90. So this is one eighth. So this guy is one eighth. And this is also one eighth. Okay, so this is one fourth. Uh, then we have, this is uh, one eighth. And this is another one eighth. So if you end together, which means if you put those things Uh, into a full circle all together is half of it, right? So you put together, you just get this half of a circle. Oh. All right, so half a circle. Okay, so then uh, we just calculate the, uh, the area. So the area of this one, so this right triangle, we have a formula, so the area equals one half, times two times two and minus, uh, here the radius one and one, right? So this radius one and one, all right? So that is half of it. So it's the area is pi times y and half of it. Okay, so if you combine those, you get is two minus pi over two. So this is the area of this uh, radar shape, right? So this is how we calculate uh, um, uh, this, uh, the area of this uh, red region, which basically just cut and paste. All right, okay, uh, that's all. Uh, have a nice weekend.